Well, this was Britain's oldest brewery. Um, brewing continuously, we know, since at least 1533. And I thought that was heritage well worth maintaining. But I don't expect everybody else to agree with me, but um, it's nice when they do, it's lovely. 2006, um, Yums chose um, the day of my birthday to announce they were going to shut later that year. So it wasn't a great birthday, to be perfectly honest. Now it's just a case of stirring it in. Most breweries have got a very technical, mechanical way of doing it. I've just got a big stick. And Young's sold the brewery to Minerva. And I spoke to Minerva pretty early on, actually, because I wanted to try and save the brewery. And I said, well, we can brew once a week as a token gesture, maintain the records, and that way you still have Britain's oldest brewery. So these are details of all the raw materials I've used so far. I think the Youngs have got the same format going back until at least, I think, 19, 1910 or something. I then transfer all this information into an old leather-bound ledger with details of all the brews we've ever done here, really. It just helps with tradition and... Yeah, it just, it's got a nice feel to it. I don't know why I like it so much. To be perfectly honest, you would never design a brewery like this. I mean, yes, it works, it makes beer, but um, it is pretty haphazard, but it was just thrown together. This was part of the old tea urn from the canteen with a bit of welding and a few things added onto it, lots of insulation. And I'm actually quite proud of this, I really am. It's got part of me in it. Ah. Right, okay. Almost every week I face a new challenge. I'm always dreaming of the day when I could have a nice easy brewery, which doesn't really need me running about with a spanner every five minutes. Unfortunately, we've got um, a bit of a veto situation on commercial brewing at the moment, so we can't sell any beer. First couple of months, there were a few of us basically putting hands into our own pockets and buying the molten hops. And after a while, of course, that became jolly expensive. One of the guys had this brilliant idea of putting an honesty box in the sample room. And he said people could put money into it. He said, we're not forcing them to, so we're not selling the beer as such. But we are lucky with the comedy nights, so I owe a great deal to, you know, to the comedians just to fund me. The Ram Brewery has been really developed into a nice town centre. And the microbrewery itself will move into what I call the Porter Tun Room porter being an old style London beer. So it's rather a good place for it to be really. So I've gone from 5,000 barrels a week maximum to a half a barrel a week maximum. But it's still brewing, which I'm delighted by. Click the videos to watch more Londoners and don't forget to subscribe.